Welcome, everyone. My name is Jeff St. Laurent, and in just one minute, I'm going to bring on my very special guest, who is a great mentor coaching client of mine and also a brand new author. But before we get into that, let me just do my little spiel because I want to let you know um, how you can get find these and, and get more great resources as I help coaches transition to a full-time business. Um, I do record all of these shows. I put them in my university at my website, sellingcoaching.com. Like I said, I help coaches transition to a full-time business. So you can get a lot of great resources there. And if you want to start off right on the homepage, you can enter your name and email address. I've got a great audio resource called Launching Your Coaching Business, The First Three Vital Steps. That gets you that resource. It puts you into my email community, which you can receive great emails from me on a weekly basis, tips, ideas, strategies, and it keeps you up to date on what I'm doing as well. With that being said, while I have a whole bunch of stuff to offer, um, I want to jump right in and introduce the new author of the best-selling book, because why not? <laughs> it's going to be right. Um, the book of stuck, um, Tess Miller, welcome to the Tuesday Live Show. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, no, this is so cool. And um, this is the book. It's really cool. It's it's thick. It's real. And um, <laughs> I want to take you through this journey because I, I wrote my first book back in 2009. And since then, as I've been working with mentor coaching clients like Tess, um, I think today I've got like 30, I think you make 14, 14 clients that I've helped, helped, you know, from a distance, right? But put things together. But when Tess came to me, we've been working together for like three quarters of a year. Is that fair? Yeah, that sounds about right. And and when she came to me, you know, in the initial sessions, and we just talked about this before we got on, right? And, and she's like, well, also I'm writing a book. <laughs> and so, and now here we are, and we'll, we'll talk about the timeframes, um, but here we are now with the book in hand, signed copy, by the way, and she'll let you know how you can get a signed copy too. But um, let's start, when you came to me, you had been writing this book for how long at that point? By that point, I think um, I had seriously been writing it for um, maybe since the March before that. It was really the pandemic that like pushed me in the direction of, of actually writing it. But prior to that, I got the idea for the book a year before the pandemic happened. So like March, April of 2019, I woke up out of a dead sleep because this book just like hit me on the head, so to speak. And um, I woke up and knew the title and everything. And that day I went to a cafe and wrote out the outline within like an hour or less. And then I, you know, I was all excited about it and then life. And I didn't do anything with it until, you know, I thought about it. It was running in the background of my mind, certainly. I, I hadn't forgotten about it. It's just that it was it was just kind of marinating. And then the pandemic happened, and I was furloughed from a lot of the work that I was doing um, as a musician. And so I had all this extra time on my hands and started writing it again. And the, the process of it, I just kind of let it flow. You know, I, I didn't like push myself or anything like that because that didn't seem right either. It was such a stressful time anyway. I didn't need to really exert stress on myself in the, in that time. But I just said, if if I feel like I want to say something about something related to this book, I'll sit down and do it. And so it was kind of, it was pretty consistent, the writing process. But I'm really glad that I didn't push myself to write it any earlier because it would be a very different book if if I had said, nope, I'm going to finish it by, um, you know, in two months or, you know, I'm, I, I see all those people out there who are like, I wrote this in three weeks. And I, I just, I didn't want this book to be that way because I knew that I was going to be growing and evolving in a very important moment of everyone being stuck during a pandemic. And I figured I would have a thing or two more to learn about being stuck, um, you know, as I'm writing the book of stuck during a pandemic. So I'm really, really glad I just kind of let it naturally 
flow in that way. Yeah. And um, when you say, I think you kind of answered that, but can, why do you feel it would have been different? Um, I wouldn't have had the perspective. I think I might have held myself back because, you know, our, our inner voices can tend to say things like, well, I don't know if anybody else has had this experience before, so maybe I shouldn't write about that. But I knew full well <laughs> that everybody was experiencing the idea of stuck in some area of, of their lives. Um, and so that, that kind of gave me the confidence. But also I was experiencing stuck in a very different way myself. Mm. Um, it wasn't just an internal thing for me anymore as it had been, you know, most of my life when I've gotten stuck, it's it's because of me. Um, but in, in this case, I was stuck not only in a lot of my own internal ways, but also externally, you know, I, I couldn't, you know, at, at the start of my coaching business, of course, one of the things that we talked about was you got to get in front of people, you got to get in front of people. And um, when when everyone's in a pandemic and they're all stuck at home, it kind of forced me to realize, OK, you're going to have to get over any kind of fear of technology and putting yourself out there virtually. Um, and so then I, you know, that external, what started out as an external form of stuck, you can't go out in person anymore and present your ideas, became an internal sense of stuck. So I could really see that, you know, even when it seems like there are external, externally caused forms of stuck, it still is internal. Like there is no out there, out there. It's, it's all in here. So it was really, really good for me to realize that aspect of being stuck. Yeah. And you know what, Tess, what I love about this the most, um, I'll keep showing the book. It's really cool. Um, <laughs> is your, and this is what I want people watching this also to understand is your, your branding stuck, right? Like your, like your niche is stuck, right? And like, like, it, <laughs> and, and here's a cool part is, is for, cause a lot of, a lot of us, like even myself, once I teach this, right? I say, oh, well, ideally we can narrow down, we can get specific. And, and you could say, well, stuck is general. I'm stuck with what? Everyone's stuck or, you know, unstuck, whatever. But, but this is specific. Like you're like right now, as I'm listening to you, I'm like, man. And as I was going through the book, it's like, I'm like, she's the expert on stuck, <laughs> right? Like you're, you're the expert of that. And, and which is, it, that's what I think is so cool is you're so the expert. And now you got this book. It's, it's just a matter of um, people starting to see that. And you, you can, if, if anyone's stuck, like you're now, you're the person to go to. You're the, per, you're the go-to person because you understand it. You've dissected it. And even even as I as I leave through the book, and I'm starting to read a few sections, and I, and as I the first thing I notice in the table of contents, I'm like, oh, there's like a there's a whole stuck theme. Like even what was it at the end? The the stucco meter was it? Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> like it was. You used your creativity, but you stayed on point, and you didn't like go all over the place, and you stayed on that. Talk about like the the evolution of it, because this is like we said prior. Like the, so, really from from you waking up out of bed out of cold sleep to actually having the book in your hands, it's been like a two year process. Yeah. Um, so yeah. people are aware of that, <laughs> you know, time frame wise. Talk about your process of what it really took like behind the scenes to actually get this going. Cause really the last six, eight months or even probably, probably the little six months has been the real push. Like you had the table of contents prior to even meeting me, you had the idea, you had the concepts, but then it was just like, all right, this last probably six plus months has really been the push to talk about how you're able to do that with what you're doing with our work, with the coaching business, with having a job, and then obviously being, <laughs> having a life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so um, I think one of the, the things 
that helped me the most in the process of writing this. Cause you know, you talk to people and you tell them I wrote a book and they're like, Oh my God, I've always wanted to do that, but I don't know how to get started. And I think one of the things that helped me the most was my underlying intention behind writing the book. Um, I, I never wavered from that intention and the intention ironically was that I wanted to write it for myself. <laughs> um, and, and I didn't realize until later, you know, as we've worked together, you have said um, from time to time at, at some point in our conversations, you've said, you know, really one of your, one of your jobs, I guess, as a, as a coach and selling your coaching is that you are having conversations with people who are essentially you just a few steps back. Hmm. You know, that was one of our first conversations when I was all, what's my niche? I don't know. And, you know, you had that great clarifying conversation with me about that. And it was very obvious. It was very clear. Oh, my niche is really helping people that are me just a few steps back. And so when I, I, I realized, and this was before we started working together, I, when I got the idea for the book, I realized right away, I have to write this book for myself because I am feeling very stuck right now. I had just graduated with my coaching certification and I was, my life hadn't changed yet. You know, I was still doing all the things that I was doing before, except now I had this coaching certification and I had this desire to get out there and coach, but I was stuck. I didn't know what my next step was going to be in that process. And um, so my intention was, okay, write this book for yourself. You've been here before lots of times. You have ideas on how to get yourself unstuck. So put it down. And chances are really good if you write it down, it might help somebody else. So it's a win-win. So that, that was my underlying intention. And I kept coming back to that every single time because stuck is not something that you just work through one time and then you're done with it and you say, wow, that really, that was really awful. I was, I was stuck and now I'm not, you know, we always have a tendency to um, land back in a place of feeling stuck in various areas of our lives. You can get untangled in one area and then land in a pile of stuck um, in a, in a different place in your life and the same tools are going to apply. And so um, that, that's sort of what, what kind of pushed me to keep writing the book and to keep thinking about the book from different angles. Um, and then in terms of the writing process, I noticed myself getting <laughs> stuck. <laughs> ironically you know I, I I think I remember various conversations with you of okay Jeff I'm stuck doing this um and it would kind of be funny you know like yeah. frustrating but also funny the irony was never lost on me um but you know fortunately that was part and parcel of that process of helping myself so that I can essentially help other people get through that that process. So it was always like the the work of writing the book had um, extra meaning behind it because yeah, it was for me, but it's also for the other people I haven't met yet who could really benefit from this. So giving it that like larger picture, that larger benefit, really pushed me along the way to keep going with it. So I hope that answered your question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, it's, and it's, I'm glad you were able to outline that because it's, it's different motivations, right? Somebody like, oh, I'm writing a book for an external reason. Um, and yes, there's, there's plenty of external reasons in terms of the credibility can give you, you know, what it can do for your business and opening up doors and opportunities, which is now our journey together, right? As, as they help you beyond from here. Um, but the biggest piece was you did it for yourself. Yeah. And and that's what makes it so personal. That's what makes it so real. That's what makes it so powerful. And and I believe that's the thing that as you get it out there, I, and as I'm listening to you now, 
Um, cause obviously I know, I know certain things, but I don't know all the things. So it's good hearing that cause I didn't understand that part of it for you. Um, and that's going to be a great, we can utilize that very well as we start to market because, and, and when you share, do, when you do events around the book, it's like, I didn't write this for you. I wrote this for me. And that's, and that's what gives you the most credibility because you're, you're not saying, oh, just cause I wrote a book on stock that like, I'm the master of stock right? Like well, you are the authority because you wrote a freaking book on it, <laughs> but it doesn't mean you're immune from it. And that's yeah. just, to me is what makes the most authentic, real, and the message even more powerful. Yeah. Yeah. It's so human to be stuck. Like that's kind of part and parcel of evolution. You know, the, the most stuck I feel is usually the springboard for getting out of it. You know, so the, the more stuck I feel, the more growth I know is going to happen. But it took me a long time to really figure that out and understand it. So if I can comfort other people knowing, yeah, I know you feel really, really crummy right now about being stuck, but there is going to be so much sunshine on the other side of that. And you're going to be ultimately so happy you went through this process. And I love, I love your message around that is it's, it's a, it's a place for hope. It's a, it's a, it's a door that says, if you can just work through this stuck, this stuckness, right. Um, then on the other side, there's, there's hope, there's opportunity, there's results. It's a, and you make it, you make almost make stuck sound exciting. Like, oh my God, I'm stuck. This is fantastic. Right. <laughs> yeah. Which I think is really cool. Uh, so as you start to kind of pull this together, what are you most excited about now as, as now an accomplished author, a woman who can say like, Oh, I just authored my first book, you know, and you have it in hands and it's, it's solid. I mean, gosh, it's how many pages? It's like almost, it's 200 pages, right? Like when I got that book, that was the first thing I'm like, Oh, this is like, it's a real book, you know? <laughs> and, um, I just, what's your perspective now in terms of how you look at your business that even even while you're writing, like uh, that you see how, how you see it maybe differently that you couldn't have seen until you actually had the book in your hand. Yeah, I think now having it is helping me get unstuck from my own limiting beliefs of talking to other people about presenting. You know, I I know that that's one of the things I've been trying to do is like get in front of more audiences and, you know, I would send emails out and I would call people and, you know, try to do all the things to get in front of them. But now that there is a book that I can say, hey, I have this book that I just wrote and it, it is something that I could do a workshop around and help people in your group um, let me, let me know if you're interested in that. And everyone is like, oh my God, I need that. I really need that. I don't care if other people want to come. I want to, I want to attend that. So, so far I feel like the book has really given me a lot more, a lot more oomph, I guess, behind any ideas that I pitch to other people. You know, I am in that process now of, of setting up live events now that we're less stuck in terms of the pandemic. <laughs> right. Um, I'm setting up those events right now. And um, it's just, it's really exciting to be able to know that um, people want to hear about this. They want to, you know, see me doing a workshop around the book and, um, and yeah, it just seems like it's a lot easier to ha have your conversations be around this, this other book rather than having it be, hi, I'm a coach and I want to talk to you, <laughs> you know, that, that just doesn't, I don't know that to me, that doesn't feel as comfortable as putting it all on the book in a way. Yeah. So it's such a great vehicle for that. If anybody is concerned about having those conversations, like when you can put it on something else that you've created, it's content, it is yours and it is you, but it doesn't feel as much like it's about you. It's about using what you've created as the vehicle of service to help people and, um, 
yeah. So it's it's just a lot more comfortable for me personally in that way. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. It's it's a great vehicle, like you said, and it, it's it's a loophole to me. It's a loophole in marketing, right? Because it's like like <laughs> it, it goes from being seemingly so challenging, especially in a cold market conversation, to like. Hey, I just wrote this book and I'm, it's really, I'm excited about it. It's about, it's about called the book of stuck and I'm looking to set up some events and if people, the first reaction, like you said, right. It's good to hear you say that. It's like, Oh my God, what's it about? Like, Oh my God, that sounds, Oh, we need that. And it just, it, it flows from there. Whereas like without this, it's like, you just don't have the key. It just, it, it, it's not impossible, but it's, it's yeah. more challenging. Yeah. So, so Tess, thank you so much for coming on here today, but Thank you for being a freaking awesome student because you, even without this, like just you do the work. Like we've been working together now, like you know, we're closing in on a year as we get towards, you know, the next, the next quarter and but you do the work and you communicate, you give me updates, you know, we don't have like regular sessions. You're like, Hey, well, here's what I've been doing, you know, and, and you push through hard things when you're not sure what to do. You ask questions you're a student, you listen and you apply even when it doesn't feel good or it's uncomfortable and, and, and you followed through with this and um, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. And this is like, it's so only the beginning for you. It's so only the beginning and I'm excited to see where our, our journey goes uh, because I just know in the next year, two years, as now we start to unfold this into, it's going to be crazy what happens. So. Well, thank you, Jeffrey, so much for everything. Um, you know, working with you has absolutely been the the piece for me that I needed. You know, as, as much as I wanted to write the book, it was really knowing that you were there, like, all right, come on, let's do this, you know, but not in an overbearing way at all whatsoever. Like, you really motivate in a very nurturing way that that has always worked really well for me. So thank you so much for, for everything. Thank you so much. So, and thank you to people watching live or the recording of this, and hopefully it inspires them to take action, and whether it's on a book or, or anything in their business, that's kind of the, the piece about it. And then if, if they do want to get a copy of the Book of Stuck, um, how might they do that? So you can give me a link afterwards I can put with the recording. But for right now, like, where could they go to get a copy? Yeah, they can. Um, it's on Amazon. But if they want to order a copy directly from me, they could check out my website, www.tess-miller.com. And they can, <laughs> they can uh, you know, contact me through that that way, send me a message, and I'll send you a copy, a, a signed copy of my book. Or if you just want the book right now in your hands, then you can go over to Amazon and look up the book of stuck. Include my name because the algorithm, it's so new that nobody has really reviewed it yet. So the algorithms make it a little difficult to find. But if you want to write me a review, that would be great too. So, <laughs> yeah, so just contact me or get the, get the book off of Amazon.